today we've completed the fourth phase of a uh, post-mortem process of the bodies of uh, victims of uh, Shakahola incidents and uh, today we've done uh, 26 uh, autopsies. Yesterday we had said that we are remaining with 24 autopsies. However, as we're doing post today, we realized that, that, that two of the lead females who are being done autopsy on were gravid, meaning that they were pregnant. So making it uh, two more persons. Um, of these postmortems, uh, adults were 14 while children were 10. And two of them we were unable to establish the gender because of uh, the level of deterioration. A male were 8 and a female were 14. Four of them were decomposed to such an extent we were unable to determine the, the gender. Um, most of them we are unable to ascertain the cause of death because of decomposition. Uh, this is 18. While eight of them were died because of starvation, we are able to establish that uh, features which we found on the bodies were th that of starvation. Finally, uh, as per level of decomposition, all of them were severely decomposed. That is all. We have not reached we have not reached that level of releasing uh, uh, bodies to relatives because remember the process of DNA is still ongoing and they have not. Uh, given us a go ahead because we are yet to receive reports of any matches so i think uh, we need to wait for them in the course of next week we'll be with the government chemist then they'll brief us on the on the process of what's going on there